You are now tuned in to Peach State TV, where any gym is home. www.peachstatehoops.com. Enjoy the show. Here in this opening clip, you're going to watch Jocelyn Ramos, 2013 forward out of McEachern High School, right here in Powder Springs, Georgia. Uh, you know, has been an integral part of a team that right now is ranked number four in the country, undefeated, uh, big wins actually. Uh, about a week and a half ago at the, the Holiday Invitational over both Riverdale and Hoover, both who are in the top ten in the country as well. And she's been playing major minutes, especially with Kayla Montgomery, a Clemson signee out uh, as of late. She's been doing a great job of really holding that thing in the road for them, helping them to continue in basketball games. You're going to see us talk more about her skill, development, and what she brings to the table in these opening clips. Introducing Jocelyn Ramos. You're watching us start with what we call stacks. Anytime we, we take a drill, break it down, and add four or five pieces to it over the course of the workout, it, we call it stacking the drill. Uh, you know, you're watching her right now, throw the ball off the glass, go rebound it, catch, outlet. What we're working on is that outside hand pass there. So you're seeing her make that left hand pass, though she's right handed. We're working on an eye cut there. So as I dribble to the baseline, obviously she wants to give me space to be able to drive and read. We're going to assume that her girl helps and stays. So you'll watch this here. She posts up. I drive baseline. Her girl helps stay. She catches, rips through, gets to the other side of the rim. Now you saw the difference in you know that from the first time was that we actually were posting in that first drill just a quick catch turn. This time I attacked the middle, so she steps out to the short corner. This is her shot right here. Uh, she knocked down three or four of them in the game versus Riverdale, the championship game of the Holiday Invitational, to give them the win and really makes timely shots out of either short corner. So in terms of her development at the next level, that's a piece that coaches are definitely going to want to use her for, as you can see there. Continuing the stack, you're going to see her put the ball on the deck and get to the rim. So what we just worked on, obviously, was being able to step out, short corner, catch and knock it down. Her defender closes back out. She beats her with the dribble drive, takes that second dribble to get her body squared so that if there is a 6-3, 6-4 post player, she can finish with the ball. Now you're going to see the last part of the stack here on the right side. She's going to come all the way through, reverse it, and then finish it. Uh, you know, we talked about going off of one or two, just depending on where she is. You see her catch there on the step out, come all the way through, and be able to finish with that right hand there on the left side. You know, I think it's so important for, for post players especially to be able to score in a variety of ways. So you see her finish here off of one, right hand. Now you see the same stack set, but different side of the floor. We're hitting that elbow jumper. So we're getting that post. I dribble baseline there. She eye cuts. We make sure we get that eye cut call. And then she lets the ball go and knocks it down. Uh, you know, I think Ramos is probably one of the better mid-range post shooters that we've had a chance to work with in terms of both her footwork, but too, just her ability to make shots. Um, you know, and a lot of post players, when we get them that first time or two, they're not able to knock this shot down consistently. You know, not only does she knock this down, but she's got really good footwork, as you can see there off the bounce. Uh, you know, she's able to take one dribble here on this rip through and be able to get to the rim for us. Rip, catch right there, floor, chin, finish. You know, we talked about wanting to make sure we protect the basketball. A lot of times you'll see kids, especially post game, right here, when they put the ball on the deck, they'll try to finish it with one hand and never bring that left hand or that right hand back to protect the basketball. You know, we're still working that 15-foot area here for Jocelyn. So now we're talking about a post-entry feed there on, on a UCLA-type set, a 1-4 set. A lot of times you get the point guard that comes right off of it. What we're looking at here actually would be a flare screen uh, set for the point guard. You know, a lot of times in that case would be Taya Cooper, uh, the freshman. So she's looking for a catch and squaring up, doesn't have it, and is going to send it across and then dive right there, catch the pass in stride and still be able to finish. She catches her girl cheating. Once she catches it here, gets her leaning, girl falls asleep, immediately dives and gets a layup. Now at this point, you're going to watch her here. Now we're still talking that same flare screen, same set, that 1-4 high, and we've pulled the defense up. This time, though, she's just going to fake the pass. She's going to catch it, fake it away. Her defender jumps, and it's just a clear path to the bucket. So something a little different in terms of being able to finish, obviously, on both sides. But what we're looking at here is if your defender starts to cheat the play, you've done something two or three times successfully, defender gets smart, cheats it. Well, what's our counter? Well, we can still get the score that we want off of that. 
Now you see us go back to that short corner jump we were talking about there with her, just to catch and lock it in. And like I said in the, the game, you know, versus Riverdale, at that point, by championship game, I was actually able to sit and be a fan, which is one of my favorite parts. And, uh, you know, Ramos hit a couple of backbreakers that really kept them in position to win the game. A lot of times kids will shoot it better on one side of the floor or the other, and that's not the case with, with Jay in terms of this short corner jumper. She's able to hit it off the pitch, whether it's going one way or the other. And when you've got drivers like, you know, Cooper that we just mentioned, uh, Cooper's sister Mia who's going to South Carolina, Dominic Wilson going to Arkansas, Destiny Gibbs, Ole Miss, you know, Paciana Roberts going to Syracuse. I mean, all, you know, five of those kids can kind of create some space for, you know, other players. And so she's been the beneficiary of that. Steps, gets her feet locked in, gets that ball up and knocks it down. You know, it's interesting that, you know, for a, a team that is as good as, as McEachern is, they're able to play so many kids. And it's one of the reasons that they're top five in the country right now. Uh, you know, they're able to, to use the kids that we just talked about. You know, or Montgomery was hurt. But then they've got, you know, a kid like Ramos who's a very, very good high school player and definitely a college prospect who comes off the bench and still gives them good minutes, good production, and they don't seem to miss a beat, which is very rare for a high school team this day and age. 